Imagine watching a child working on a challenging puzzle. They try again and again to fit the pieces into place, but nothing seems to be making sense. After struggling for a while, the child grows frustrated, sure that it is impossible to complete. But then a gentle hand reaches down, and it's a parent's hand helping this child guide the pieces into the correct place. All of a sudden, the pieces fit together beautifully, and what once was confusion is now a beautiful image that makes sense. Welcome back to another day of encouragement from God's Word. In our lives, we often feel like that child, facing situations that leave us confused, disappointed, and sometimes even frustrated with God's timing. But Isaiah 55 verse 9 reminds us of something powerful. It says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God's perspective is so much higher, so much grander than anything we can see or understand. While we may only see pieces, he sees the whole picture. This is part of the reason why when Jesus taught his disciples to pray, he instructed them to begin with, Our Father, which art in heaven. Heaven is greater vantage point on things than we do here on earth. God is able to see beyond our current obstacle that's right in front of us and see beyond, see what's ahead. Today, we can take comfort in that fact. In the face of a job that fell through, an unanswered prayer, a bad medical diagnosis, or a closed door, remember that in his loving care, God sometimes says no or not yet. He has a good reason. Our dreams may falter, our plans might fail, or things don't work out as we would like. But what if, like the parent of the puzzle, God is arranging things that we just don't see yet? Ellen White put it beautifully when she said, In the future life, the mysteries that have annoyed and disappointed us will be made plain. We will see that our seemingly unanswered prayers and disappointed hopes have been among our greatest blessings. We will understand that some of our most difficult moments were actually blessings in disguise. One day, all that has perplexed us will be made clear. The questions that we have had about God's ways, the unanswered prayers, the broken dreams, they'll find answers. And they'll reveal the depths of God's love for us in the fact that he cared for us even with the answer of not yet or no. This is a big part of the purpose of the millennium. Time to ask God questions. Time to examine the books of heaven. So if things today don't make sense, trust that God sees the full picture and one day soon he will reveal that picture to us and it will be a glorious picture. Let me pray for you today. Father God, may you remind us of the fact that you are in control. May you assure us of the fact that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Today, may we trust that promise. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, let's find comfort in knowing that one day, all confusion will be put aside and answers will receive uh, the peace that we've been looking for here on this earth. The picture is truly beautiful. All it takes is the Lord coming and revealing to us why things were the way that they are. God bless you today. Maranatha.